Hey everybody, so glad you're with us and spent some time with us this afternoon. The eclipse is opening up and making its way off the coast of Georgetown, South Carolina, heading out to sea, Leslie, and this yep. is the end of the experience for America. Boy, it went fast. It did. It went so fast. We were talking about, you know, we've all been looking up at the sky for the last couple of hours. That's it, though, all the way yeah. from Oregon to off the Atlantic Ocean now in just a matter of hours. Yep. All right, well, Jamie and Zach just brought you the total solar eclipse from right outside Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Of course, one of the points of greatest eclipse. Yep, full coverage. Now, for a whole week, the guys have been living out of an RV, telling stories from the road. Let's check back in with them one last time to get their thoughts on the whole experience. Hey, guys, looks like you had a blast. We definitely did, Chris and Leslie. This was, has been one amazing trip, and the end point here, getting to view the eclipse, we feel so lucky that we were able to do that, and I'm sure all these people do behind us, right? Yeah, absolutely. Every, there, there was nobody here that had a look on their face or any kind of description or anything that said they didn't enjoy your time here. When it comes through Texas in a few years, you're going to want to see this. Like, I just couldn't imagine why. I'll always be an advocate for if you get a chance, go see it. I don't care where you have to go, go see it. It was awesome. The trip, I'm glad you guys <laughs> came along with us on that. Exactly. I mean, we went through some fun stuff. It seemed like it was going to take forever to get here, and then it gets here, and it's like that. Exactly. Like, we've drove over 1,500 miles, saw amazing people along the way. It really was an epic journey, and we finished up with an epic event. So we really hope you guys back home enjoyed what we brought, from, brought you from here. Uh, we tried to give you the experience as best as we could, and we can't wait to be with you again for when it comes through uh, Central Texas in 2024. Back to you, Chris and guys. Leslie. It's Monday. Travel safe, and you know what? Take a day off. Right. And then we'll see you back you here. You did in it. Wrap. Good job. <laughs> All right. Well, here are some pictures of the eclipse experience from your own vantage point. You sent these all in to us. Yeah, so glad that we had some viewers who were participating in this. And we'll scroll right through some of these here. I mean, a lot of fun. Some people were got creative. Look at this. Shooting over your shoulder so you yep. get a reflection of it. That way you don't have to look directly at it. Always smart thing to do. Welding helmet with Costa sunglasses from Belton. Oh, that's neat. That's a great photo there. Brittany Martinez sending that one in. Good work, Brittany. Photography skills, that's pretty good. I know. All right, so really exciting. We're so glad that you sent, took the time to send those in. Jordan as well. Just that little glimpse right there. It looked kind of like a, a peapod or something like that, but that was awesome. And we will have more of these uh, on our Facebook page and, of course, tonight as well on KCN at 5 and 6. Wow, Betty so Jo neat. says, most amazing thing I've ever seen. And then Kenny shows you can, you know, use the shadows at times as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so when will we get to experience a total solar eclipse again, and could it be closer to home? Yeah, we've been talking a little bit about this throughout this whole show. Channel 6 meteorologist Megan Massey mm -hmm. is with us now with the answer. Hey, Megan. Hey, uh, we are looking at phenomenal pictures across the area, and I just want to show you where we are on the time scale as of right now. Again, we had the peak timing right around 1.10 p.m. It is expected to end right around 2.39 uh, this afternoon. So far, looking at good visibility, but just kind of put it in perspective, we're not in the path of totality of course this year this is today good visibility for us same for nashville little rock arkansas also baton rouge and montgomery but looking at 2024 it doesn't look like you will need to travel anywhere especially across central texas and also north texas right in the path of totality now this is april 8th 2024 it will be waco clean temple also dallas fort worth stretching into little rock arkansas all the way up through detroit so looking at phenomenal pictures on the rise there in the future back in 2024. So if you missed it this year, looks like you'll have another shot in the next couple of uh, years coming up. Back to you. Megan, thank you for sticking around. Those were great graphics, really explained things well for us today. And it was a real bonus to have you here. And on behalf of our entire staff here at Channel 6, it was a pleasure bringing you the eclipse. And thank you for tuning in and spending a little time with us. And if you do have those pictures, remember you can still hashtag them 6 Eclipse. And we will show them later on in the newscast. We'll, of course, have much more from everyone who is around yeah. Central Texas area and, you know, Zach and Jamie as well at 5 and 6 tonight. Yeah, Thanks very so much.